The first meeting between Sam Houston and James Madison, and it comes in the FCS playoffs. Here's Mike Houston, the Madison head coach, just moments ago. We are built to win ball games in December. You are built to win this football game because you're the kind of team that thrives this time of the year. We got great mental toughness tonight, which we know we have, but we have to punish them at the point of contact in all three phases. Their ball carriers have got to get to a point where they don't want the football. Their defense has got to get to the point where they want no part of our box, no part of getting up in your face, though, line. And we've got to make this a game that they have no desire to play in. No desire to play in. It's been a great first season for Mike Houston at JMU, the Colonial Athletic Association Coach of the Year. He's got him fired up on this 27 degree night here in Harrisonburg, Virginia. He's got me fired up. I'm about to come out of the booth to get ready to play, and this is what he's preached from day one. Tough, physical mentality. He's right. The type of football they play, it sets up perfectly for the month of December. Students in finals this week at James Madison. They thought that might affect the crowd. Yeah, it's a little late arriving. I think the weather may affect it a little bit, but it's not affecting the enthusiasm as we get ready for kickoff. Sam Houston won the toss and elected to receive. Tyler Gray puts it in the air, and Jalen Harris, the dynamic return man for Sam Houston State, brings it back to the 25-yard line and then is piled up there. And we're underway. The throw four quarters. Southland Conference Player of the Year, and on the first play, they're going to run it. And James Madison ready for it. Corey Avery is number 91, playing inside. He's had an outstanding season this year in the defensive tackle spot. A tempo spread offense for Sam Houston State. 54 of 88 scoring drives have happened under two minutes. But they take this play clock on the second play from scrimmage to six. Briscoe on the play action, sets to throw and fires downfield incomplete and five touchdowns in the win over Chattanooga. Good size, good arm strength, outstanding leader of the Sam Houston State offense. So third down and 10, they're 51% on the year converting on third down, time to throw and another incompletion. Nathan Stewart, the great freshman receiver, well covered. Guard Davis, the Colonial Athletic Special Teams Player of the Year. Three punt return touchdowns on the season. I'm going to let this one bounce from Joseph Figginshaw. And it takes a bit of a Sam Houston roll to the 23-yard line. Now we'll get our first look at Brian Shore in the Madison offense after that 52-yard punt. Shore is 6'2", 215-pound junior out of Milford, Pennsylvania, completing 74% of his passes, best in the FCC, FCS, excuse me, only four interceptions, and he's coming off a career day against New Hampshire. He went 30 for 37, 371 yards, and tied a program record with five touchdown passes. Very accurate, did you say, with the football. Doesn't have zip on the ball, but great touch. He's a good athlete, can run the football, tough, and a great competitor. Jonathan Klusterman, the tight end, went in motion, sets. And now the first play from scrimmage is batted down at the line and picked off. Intercepted by Sione Latu. The nose tackle. And Sam Houston State takes over deep in James Madison territory. Just the fifth last week. It didn't hurt Madison, but it certainly sets the tone here for Sam Houston State in the first quarter this week. The penalty flag comes in. Ball start, offense, number 51. Five-hour penalty, first down. <laughs> Jim sounds a little cold. 82 yards in penalties per game. That's near the bottom of the FCS that backs him up five yards. Briscoe, play fake. He'll rip it to the outside. Caught at the 20-yard line and down to the 16 is Davion Davis. Best slot receivers in the country. He will make you miss, and defensively, for James Madison, Raven Green, the safety, leads the team with five picks, and he will come up and flat out hit and play man-to-man -man on the outside. Let's see if he brings some pressure here to get the ball out quick from Briscoe. Trying to get to the 10-yard line. It's a draw play. Corey Avery's going to run for it. Has the first down. Ball comes out, and it's recovered in the end zone by Tut. Charles Tut. 
Gets it back for James Madison. Gets it back at their own 20-yard line. Bob Trout's got to be happy with his defense. He gets a three and out to start, and then after the turnover, gets the football back for his offense. He'll pitch it back to Khalid Abdullah. They want to get him going. He's going to be stopped near the 20. Excellent pass rusher and very stout against the run. Second down and five for James Madison, who turned it over on its first possession. That's a completion from Shore to Klusterman. And he rumbles out across the 45-yard line, dropped at the 46. The all-conference tight end with a pickup of 21. Well, James Madison runs the ball well. That was a run-pass option. Excellent decision by Brian Shore. Linebackers come up thinking that it's a run. Flip it right there to your tight end. Jonathan Klusterman for a very nice pickup. 526 yards per game. 286 comes on the ground. Here, and then is the strength of this defense, linebackers defensive line. It's imperative that they stay in their gaps and they play on the other side of the football. They swing it out. Open is Rashard Davis, and he gets to the 42-yard line for a first down. Away ball control will be key here for James Madison. Helps the defense, and it puts that Sam Houston State high-octane offense over there on the cold sidelines. JMU's got a pretty good offense, too. 48 points per game. Here's Abdullah breaking free. Inside the 20, the 15, there's a penalty flag. He's knocked out. Inside the 5 at the 3. Khalid Abdullah looking good early. Hold their late, Clay. Legal block in the back. Offense number 6. 10-yard penalty. Line to gain was reached. First and 10. Now, they're going to give him the first down, but the penalty on Richard. Well, it's the left side of the offensive line. You see A.J. Bold with a nice combo gets up to the second level. Aaron Stinney, the left tackle, opening up a big hole right there for Khalid Abdullah. So first down and 10. They spot the ball at the 25-yard line, and there is some pointing down there. Jumping. False start. Offense to number 68. Five-yard penalty remains first down. Dusty, that's the right tackle, Tyree Chavis. He is a redshirt freshman. He is still... They're going to put the redshirt freshman to the test here today. Second penalty against James Madison on first down at 15. It's Brian Shore keeping it. He has an ability to run. But again, he's coming off an injury not that many weeks ago. How much will he run tonight? Very smart. Gets down, no contact, and very athletic quarterback making a nice play. First down at 10 from the 14. It's Abdullah again streaking to the end zone. His 18th rushing touchdown of the year. He gallops in from 14 yards out. And James Madison is on the board first. An impressive drive, seven plays, 80 yards for James Madison. And the extra point by Tyler Green. Touchdown of the year for Khalid Abdullah. They'll see if Sam Houston State can respond. The number one offense in the country. On this return, it's Jalen Harris hit and brought down by the coverage team at the 12-yard line. That's Robert Carter with the tackle. Abdullah's touchdown. Watch the combo here. He's going to work up right there and did a great kick out by the right tackle and a gaping hole for Khalid Abdullah to walk into the end zone and put James Madison up top early. We talked with Coach Houston in year one. Mm -hmm. Head of schedule. First down at 10 now for Sam Houston State. The Bearcats star quarterback Jeremiah Briscoe goes over the middle in the trailed once before all season. That was briefly in the first half at Northwestern State midway through the year. We'll see how they respond here playing from behind in this quarterfinal game. On second and 10, Briscoe has to sling it downfield in a hurry as the pressure was mounted. Briscoe has time this time. Thrown over the middle, tipped in the air, incomplete. Davis couldn't haul it in. So Joseph Figginshaw have to punt from the end zone. First team all-conference punter. Has done a great job replacing Lachlan Edwards, who was drafted by the Jets. Rashard Davis. And great field position to start this season. Over New Hampshire. First down and 10. Great field position to start this third series for Madison. 
At their own 47. That time, Abdullah bottled up at the line of scrimmage. And the total defense that's here early on. Six minutes gone by here in the opening quarter. 7 0 Madison looking for more there into Sam Houston. Seen Alls get involved yet, but some tells me we will soon. First third down faced by Madison in this game. Third down and three. This is Shore, and he's high. Intended averaging less than two punts per game comes out to kick. Yedidiah Lewis standing at the 10 yard line. It's a short punt, and he dives for it across the 20 yard line. There's Bob Trott. 40 years in coaching. This is his first year on staff at James Madison as defensive coordinator. He's done a great job. Has to be happy with the way they played so far. Remus Bulmer, the number two running back for five yards. This is a Bill Parcells disciple, coach them at Air Force, coach them at the Patriots. He's old school, man. He's preaching physicality, aggressiveness, toughness, and man, they have changed the culture on the defensive side of this football team. Bulmer again, he's hit. That's going to be a loss on the plate. Jordan Brown, the safety, a picture around the ball carrier every snap. Bearcats 0 for 3 on third down. Briscoe pressured, it's hit, knocked down, and it's fourth down. Martez for its clinching win over Villanova. Do a great job. If they can't get there, get your hands up and get a piece of the football. Penalty marker on the punt. Paul Sark, offense number 20. Remains fourth down. This is going to be the third three and out for Sam Houston State. Takeaways, third down defense, red zone defense, the three things that Bob Trott talked to us most about yesterday. You know, check, check, check here so far. It's the new way to define if you're playing good defense. It's not the old days where you look at total yards, getting off the field on third down, limiting red zone opportunities to field goals, and as you said, taking the football away. And Madison will have it at the 41. When you think James Madison, you think Charles Haley? That bit finger right there. I think he could rush the pass <laughs> a little bit back in the day. James Madison also known for Lee Fitting. One of our bosses here at ESPN. Short run, Justin Johnson on the tackle. Second down and nine for the Dukes. Leading 7-0 in this quarterfinal in the FCS playoffs. Here's Abdullah again, already a touchdown. Stiff arm going the wrong direction. And he spun at the 30-yard line. Tackle for loss, his teammates get in on the play, but P.J. Hall fighting through the double team, setting the edge, makes the play. That was a loss of 10, and now this play is whistled dead before it starts. First charge timeout of the half. Sam Houston. For 21,000 students, champions of the Colonial Athletic Association for the second straight year and that win over New Hampshire last week their first playoff win in five years I think it's just a testament to the job that Mike Houston has done since he's taken over here you know talking to him we said you know you asked him coach you surprised at how quickly you guys had success he's like you know I am I expected two to three years to change the culture to change what we felt we needed to get to to be a championship program but man this team these seniors have bought in playing some really good football Play action, sure. Cox's arm fires it deep downfield. There's a man open coming back to the football. It's Damo Taylor on his feet. Gets out to the five yard line before he's bumped out. What a stride and a huge play for the Dukes. Gain of 64 yards. They go back to the ground. Abdullah behind a block. Runs it right to the touchdown earlier in the quarter. This time it's going to be Shore keeping it, and he's in. Touchdown again for James Madison. Brian Shore with his 10th rushing touch. Sophomore out of Winchester, Virginia. And it's 14 to nothing. Well, the winner gets either South Dakota hasn't been able to establish or hasn't needed to yet. His two best receiving weapons in Davis and Ravenel. Other guys have been getting it done. 
on the return, Jalen Harris, and he has been unable to find any daylight on returns. So Madison defense really in man-to-man -man coverage, being physical with the wide receivers, impeding their ability to run their routes and sticking with them every snap here so far. Another penalty marker. Prior to the flag, second charge, timeout of the half, Sam Houston. 30-second timeout. That the Dukes are putting on them. Again, they've only trailed once all season before tonight. Let's see what kind of character they have. Incomplete again, intended for Nathan Stewart. Unable to come up with the ball. Briscoe, one for nine. I'm going to try to run it. Finding some room, Remus Bulber. That's a first down carry of about 13 yards, over 800 yards. This and if, if the defense is going to give them the run game, you got to take it. Nice run right there by Bulmer. Briscoe pumps, goes to the right. Coming back is Davion Davis using his hands on a little comeback route. From the 30-yard line. Incomplete. Stewart again. A lot of pressure here early on from the Dukes. Conversions yet on third down. Briscoe from a clean pocket. Incomplete again. He keeps going to Stewart, but Moreland. Say enough about the outstanding coverage we're seeing here early on from the James Madison defense. Just 43 yards of total offense for Sam Houston, the number one offense in the country. Now the return for Rashard Davis. He is slippery. Three punt return, touchdowns off the year, and he could go. One man to beat. Goodbye, touchdown, Rashard Davis. Miss, taking it to the house. Tyler Gray for the point after again, and it's 21 to nothing. Well, he was the lead pipes to make it 21 to nothing, and we're still in the first quarter. This is Tyler Scott, sophomore out of Red Oak, Texas. And he gets it across the state. But uh, since 2011, it's been referred to as South Fargo. <laughs> as the Bison have just dominated the FCS the last five years. That looked like a face mask, and sure enough, a penalty flag comes out. Darius Carter. Face mask, defense. 15-yard penalty added to the end of the play. First down. Sam Houston State has to take advantage of this as they're now in Madison territory on the draw Remus Bulmer again brought down in the backfield at the midfield line by Gibbs who's trying to put some weight on it it's a big man so second and 11 Briscoe got rid of it very little gain for yet a diet really nice job by Briscoe stepping up in the pocket and finding his target. One of the best teams in the country on third down. And picked one up yet. Briscoe sets, throws over the middle. Again, double coverage that time. Are they going to get the flag? Tyler Scott wants one, and he does get it. Charles Tutt pleading his case. Pass interference. Defense number 23. The ball will be placed as far on the foul. Automatic. First down. Another break and a much needed Charles Tutt gets there before the ball is delivered. Good call by the official. Fourth penalty against Madison. First down at 10 on the play action. Pressure coming out the backside. Picked up nicely. Deep throw. It is caught, but incomplete. As Davian doing a nice mm -hmm. job. He's all over. The receiver to the outside. Yeah. Didn't give him much real estate. He's having a beautiful first half. Briscoe looks right. Comes back. To the middle for Stewart. Actually has yet to come up with a completion. Sixth play of the drive. Believe it or not, this is the longest drive for the number one offense in the country so far tonight. And facing another third down and long. They need the 30-yard line to keep the drive alive. Jeremiah Briscoe pumps, lofts it up toward the sideline. Incomplete, not even close. Scott, the intended receiver, and it's for Davis. Brought one back. 72 yards. Now this one gets away from Figginshaw. He scrambles on the run. Ball comes out. 
Did James Madison recover? Either way, it's their football. It's their football regardless. What an opportunity to kick the ball, but now James Madison with great field position. Yeah, they had an Australian punter last year, Lachlan Edwards. This is Trey Sharp. They'd like to get him involved tonight as much as they can. His role is sharp. Man, he's got some great speed. You see him right there hit the edge. And he'll get it again. Good run. First down, James Madison. The line and intercepted. They have looked beautiful on offense. This is Sharp again this time. Brought down before the Madison, one of four teams from the Colonial Athletic that made the FCS playoffs. Playing arguably the toughest league in the country. The Missouri Valley would certainly have something to say about that. That's Sharp again. And it's third down and long. And that's one of the things you and I were talking about. They've played some tough, physical, grinded out football games on the other side. Sam Houston State didn't play a team with a winning record until the last game of the regular season. Go to the outside and close to the first down marker is Shorey. He hits Ravenel. That's his first pretty good track record this season on fourth down. Over 70% conversion rate. This is the first play of the second quarter. Brian Shore, Colonial Athletic Association Player of the Year. Out of the shotgun. That's the snap from Kyle Rigney. Hands off. Trey Sharp. First down and more. But there's a marker behind the run of Sharp. There's a gain of 11, but we'll see if it... Offense number yeah. 64. 10-yard penalty remains. Fourth down. And it's going to come back. Matt Frank, the right guard. They're still move. going for it. Yeah. Interesting call here. Fourth and 11. Having no man's land to, to 33. Well, the way the defense has played, why not? Struggle with the snap. Shore is able to recover on the hoof. Gets it inside the 30-yard line. Well short of the first down. Cody Brooks, the FBS transfer from UTSA, makes the tackle. And Sam Houston will take over on downs. But saw James Madison right now leading 21-0 early in the summer. Mark Jackson, without question, been the best player in the country this year. It'll be tomorrow night, 8 o'clock on ESPN. Here's Sam Houston needing to get the offense going. It's the rhythm yet, Dusty. We'll see if it can on this series. On their own 39, the Bearcats, Jeremiah Briscoe flares it out. It's Brown and no catch. Ball well, but so far here tonight, they've really struggled. Not used to playing from behind, that is for sure. Here's Brown cut down at the 35-yard line. Curtis not tonight, and they've got to get to the 49 to keep this series alive. Briscoe fires over the middle, nearly picked off by Oliver. As he jumped in front of Yedidiah Lewis. Excellent pass breakup for the Dukes defense. Now they're wearing Joseph Figginshaw out, and that punt is blocked. Figginshaw couldn't get it away, and it's scooped up. Madison's going to run it in. Bryce McGinley. Yeah, Mr. Houston, we definitely have a problem. And Tyler Gray right between the eyes. It's 28 rip. These fans are cold tonight. There's no doubt about it, but the score certainly helps. This is Jalen Harris again. He has been bottled up on every kick return so far. That's his best return out across the 30 and down to the 31-yard line. None of them have been able to get open and make plays here tonight. Got to find a way to get their playmakers the football. Number nine is Yedidiah Lewis, their star receiver. He has been almost non-existent tonight. Another Delay marker. Oh. Offense, five-yard penalty. First. One catch. Briscoe's thrown to him four times. Just haven't been able to get him going. Another clean pocket for Briscoe. Can he do anything with it? Off the hands. Get some momentum going. Jordan Brown in the backfield. Briscoe wants to throw again over the middle. Boy, that was well covered, too, and nearly picked off. Gage Steele was there. Situation. We'll try to get to the 41 here. Pressure picked up. Incomplete. Nobody close in the eight drives for Sam Houston. And they've got confusion here on the special teams unit. 
Did they get a timeout call before the flag? Legal substitution. No. Offense, 12 minute formation. Five yard penalty. Fourth down. Mm. Casey Keeler looking. Well, Figginshot, his last punt blocked in return for a touchdown. This is the sixth time he's been called on to kick. Let's see if they can protect him here. It's going to be great field position for the Dukes. Pressure comes, easily gets it away. Richard Davis lets it bounce, and he'll let it roll. Very nice punt that time by Figginshot. It's going to finally lay dead at the 21-yard line. 58-yard kick. In good balance again from James Madison. Again, the average 526 yards per game. Half of it comes on the ground. And now here's Brian Shore. He'll take off. That's the second time. Against Villanova, left for the final three quarters. So definitely want to keep that quarterback healthy. Go back to Abdullah there. Fine running back, another first down for him. He's across the 40, still going, and across the 45 to the 46-yard line. That's a gain of 21. Khalid Abdullah, we talked about his feet, his vision. Look at the cut right there. Slight hesitation as the offensive lineman pushes the defender by, and a big pickup right there by the first team all Southland running back, Khalid Abdullah. And he'll get it again. Wow. Another first down, going through that defense like butter. Came in. James Madison, the CAA, the best running back in this league this season. Fake to Sharp, pass caught by Ravenel. He'll get loose on the outside. Inside the 15, knocked out at the 11. Brandon Ravenel. Standing blocking out in the perimeter to help spring that big play. He's probably the number four receiver on this team. On a lot of teams, he'd be a starter. Damo Taylor, he's got a good night tonight. There's a play fake short to Klusterman, the tight end. He had a couple of touchdowns last week. He's got one here tonight. And the route is on. Tight end right here. He's just going to go up and look at the linebacker get sucked up by the play action. This is what we've talked about. This is when you can run the football effectively. It allows the run pass option, the pass part of it, to come wide open. Outstanding pitch and catch from Brian Shore to a wide open Jonathan Klusterman. Another PAT for Gray. And very dangerous, but so far it has been all James Madison leading 35 to nothing. Tyler Gray kicking it deep. Coming up to field it. This is Derek Dick. And he stopped short of the 25. Go to NCAA.com. Remus Bulmer has three 100-yard rushing games on and game. They can run it, but this offense is predicated on getting the passing game going. I'll try the run again with Bulmer. Nothing there. And he's been in. They've been in this spot all night long. Oh, that average to go on third down, almost 10 yards. And the Bearcat receivers have been unable to separate from this coverage. Briscoe nearly picked off, jumping the route. And Moreland reading the quarterback's eye, steps in front of the pass. And another punt for Figginshaw. Seventh of the game, Richard Davis. They're trying to spring him again. He's got one punt return touchdown. He dances along the side. Brian Shore will give it to Abdullah. Starts right, comes back left, and is dumped at the line of scrimmage. They're picking and choosing what to do. Having so much success on the ground, it's opening up a lot of the run pass option passes down the field. Ball start, offense number 61. Five yard penalty remains, second down. AJ on their way to a, a tenth straight win. They're looking good to make the semifinal round next week. Here's Khalid Abdullah again. Sam Houston ready for him. It's going to bring up third down and long. It was get a lot of pressure on Brian Shore yet either. It's a defense with 37 sacks coming into the ninth. 
Third down at 16. Can they get any heat on him here? No. Clean pocket. Shore launches it deep. And it's caught Rashard Davis. Third and long for the Dukes. 300-plus yards already for James Madison. I'm going to get nothing on this one. In fact, a loss. And Terrence Hall has been very quiet here in the first half, but they haven't needed him. On second and 12. The crossing route. Davis couldn't bring that one in. Bonds, you've seen the great touch and accuracy throwing the football down the field. Four receivers, two to either side. Short to throw. He is hit and can't stay on his feet. First sack of the ball game, and it belongs to Cody Brooks in between territory. And instead of bringing the field goal kicker, Tyler Gray out to attempt a long range field goal. I'm going to stay out there on fourth and 20. Pass is complete to Damo Taylor which moves the ball inside the 15, well short of the first down. But this is the only college football game of the day mm -hmm. here in Harrisonburg, Virginia, FCS quarterfinal. It's been an impressive start for this game for James Madison. Bulmer over on the sidelines. Briscoe. Receiver fell down. Keeler wants a penalty flop. Brought down Stewart. Let's see if they can convert this time. Madison has gotten off the field every time. Pass caught. It's going to depend on the spot. going to look like he got it. Davion Davis. Short. Casey Keeler keeping everybody out there. Fourth down and one. And they're going to try for it on the ground. Bulmer's got it. They'll move the chains. And keep this drive going. It's Madison. Briscoe watches it toward the sideline. Bobbled and incomplete. Boy, Stewart. Nixon, tight end, moves to the left side. Play action. Briscoe hit, and he's going to be sacked. He was sacked six times last week by Ch and having a great game. Briscoe eludes the rush. Got it downfield. Great coverage again, but there's a holding offense number 70. Penalty declined. Fourth down. Curtis Reiser, the last left tackle who transferred to Sam Houston from the team. Well, he's getting some work in tonight, isn't he, Clay? Mm -hmm. Shard Davis, he'll call for the fair catch. 335 to go before halftime. What's comes to you? I, th I mean, I think you'd have to go Tom Herman to Texas because I think that what, what Charlie Strong did in recruiting, that is a team that is ready to win right away. And you bring in Tom Herman, he's going to bring in toughness, physicality, hold people accountable. You feel like in year number one, he could really have an impact season. Guy that's had an impact in year number one is Mike Houston, the head coach, James Madison Dukes, Colonial Athletic Association Coach of the Year. Spent the last two years at the Citadel. So we get another penalty flag on the field. Listen to Jim make this call. He sounds like he's chattering. There's no foul in play. I want to give him a coat. I do, too. I feel bad for him, man. Get that man some hot chocolate or his, something. Jeez. His lips are blue. <laughs> Second down and seven here. No penalty. And Trey Sharp again. He'll cut it up. This ground game's been impressive. There's no forecast had for gusts right. into the teens and 20 miles per hour, but it hasn't been the case, and that's, that's terrific because the wind chill isn't bad. Here's Trey Sharp again. He's got the first down to keep the drive going here with 228 before halftime. Not James Madison looking to tag on more points before the half. Sharp. Right back into enemy territory. In the second half, Clay. I think yeah. they're really going to lean on that rushing attack. Damo Taylor and another first down for the Dukes and, and that's one thing to keep in mind with Sam Houston State if there's ever a team 
built to put up a lot of points. Quarterback, I mean, look at this. Look at this space here that the Sam Houston State defense has given the James Madison receivers. And they can't stop anybody up the middle. They had a fumble, but Damo Taylor is right there to recover it for the Dukes. Catching the football at times. Briscoe's had trouble delivering accurate football, so hate to make excuses for Sam Houston State, but it, it seems that the weather has played a role. Wide open. Terrence Alls, his first catch of the ball game, and he takes it to the one-yard line. Right at the one-yard line. Handoff, Abdullah. Touchdown, James Madison. And he keeps adding to the extra point for Tyler Gray, and it's back to live action here. And completely held in check. He is 5 for 27 throwing for just 23 yards and just 65 total yards of offense for the Bearcats. This run nets just a yard as Gage Steele makes another tackle. Well, Gage in both poles, but they got the five seed, and you got to think scheduling is the big reason why. That's right. I mean, it's almost a false sense of reality. You beat up on teams that aren't very good, and you feel good about yourself, but the reality is once you play up against the upper-level competition, to do anything on third down, they're 0 for 11. And on the other side, James Madison's played a lot of quality FCS opponents, and they scheduled North Carolina and went into Chapel Hill and really took the fight to them with a really productive opening first half. Because he took a big shot against Chattanooga a week ago. Slings it here. That looked like a good toss. Tyler Scott. The first down. Clock stops to move the chain. Six seconds to go. Can they get something to the end zone here? Well, I think you got to kill it right here and then take one shot to the end zone. That's what they do. Two seconds on the clock. Now you were talking. Had zip on the football. Wasn't showing any ill effects of a shoulder injury. Last play of the half. Briscoe. No time on the clock. Launches it toward the end zone. There are receivers down there. But as it has been all half, well covered. Catch is made by Stewart. But short of the end zone. It helps the stat sheet, but not the cause, Clay. Worst half by far. Not even close for Sam Houston this year. And James Madison, they were great last week. Already dynamic tonight. And we'll see what the second half has in store for the Dukes, who lead it big, 42 to nothing. Now the halftime report, Chris and Trevor. Here's we get ready for the start of the third quarter. Brandon Ravenel. Back deep, but it's an onside pop kick. That didn't work. And great field position here for James Madison. Everything can take it away, Sam. Uh, <clears throat> Sam Houston State's ability to run the football. So, you know, all three phases working in perfect motion for James Madison. But it's 78 rushing yards, couple of touchdowns and 13 carries. We'll see a lot of the run game, I'm certain. Going forward here, he picks up the first down. Bought in. We are seeing the fruits of that labor and that marriage here tonight. Well, he's clearly a talented running back. Good vision there as he hits the hole, picks up a nice game. But like you said, unselfish. Whatever is best for the football team, exactly what a coach would expect and hope for out of a senior, especially one coming in and trying to completely change the culture. He's a prototype for a senior that's bought in to what Mike Houston's been selling here at James Madison. Mike Houston replaced Everett Withers, who took the job at Texas State. After a couple of years at the Citadel, has hit the ground running here in Harrisonburg. Second down and one. And it's another run. Abdullah's got it, first down. It's a gain of about four. He, uh, a lot of what James Madison's gonna look to do here in the second half, and the front four, who another gaping hole off oh. the left side. The front four just getting pushed around and moved for their head coach, Casey Keeler. They pick up nine on that first down carry. Second down and one for Brian Shore. And this offense, the junior out of Milford, Pennsylvania. He's been out of the gun all night. He'll hand off to Sharp. Another first down, another big run. He could go. And he went right through the secondary. 
The tackling has been brutal tonight for Sam Houston. Two tight ends, power football, just a simple zone. You see the blocking at the point of attack, up at the second level, and then just missed tackling coming out of the half. That's their seventh play tonight of 20 yards or more for the Dukes. Gray with another point after, and it's 49 to nothing. The best four seasons in the country. That's a tall and tough order they have. You can't make everybody happy. Five conferences, four spots, but I think they got the top four right. Sam Houston will start at the 25 on this series after that 18-yard return by Dick. There's Jarrett's averaging on first down so far here this evening. We'll run it with Remus Bulmer straight up the middle. It's to the 30-yard line. The last time that Sam Houston State was shut out in a half, you have to go back to last year's national semifinals. Jacksonville State shut them out in the second half. They lost that game to Jack State 62 to 10. And they've had 68 wins over the last six years, but it seems like in the postseason, Sam Houston always runs in to trouble like this. And there's another incompletion. On third down, they've only completed one third down pass. That is another incompletion. Fourth and five coming up. That was Taylor Reynolds' number. A block punt and a snap that went over Figginshaw's head. Able to get this one away. This is John Miller back to return a punt for the first time. Fields it at the 24. Makes a couple of men miss. Steps up and he's on his way. Tackled from behind and dropped just short of the 30-yard line by the snapper Tucker Addington. Helping us out here on Jimmy V Week if you can. There's a pass complete to Ravidel. Ball comes out. There's a Sam Houston player ready to pick it up and take it back the other way. A.J. Davis, number four. We're on the field of a fumble and a recovery, but Sam Houston State is under further review. <laughs> Man, we got. Clay, we I'm got, sorry, but uh, he is so cold down there. We got to get him a coat and some hot oh, chocolate. No yeah. question. Maybe a snuggie. That's an incompletion. Yeah. But and, and man, finally Sam Houston State gets something to go their way, and even that's yeah. not going to wind up going their way, I would guess. Because clearly, I, I think that there is indisputable evidence that that football touches the ground. The rolling on the field is an incomplete pass, therefore no fumble. The ball is placed at the 34-yard line. Please reset the game clock to 11 minutes, 14 seconds. Bearcats haven't played like a five seed here tonight. The number one team in the country at the end of the regular season in both major FCS bowls. Khalid and Find the hole, cut on a dime. Really quality running back here for the Dukes. He'll get it again. It's going to be close to a first down. Blocking has been very good. Three million dollars. So we're hoping to top that this season. This is Abdullah again. Look out to the 50. Stumbled a bit. Stayed on his feet. Couldn't get out of an ankle tackle by Alfonso McMillan. But another explosion. Tight end. Daniel Shelley gets out in front. Nice block on the linebacker. Another gaping hole for Khalid Abdullah to run through. This is John Miller. The receiver has the first down, still on his feet. He's a running back who they use a lot in the receiving. Back to the ground in Abdullah. Already with his ninth game over 100 yards rushing. Won't get much that time. All these Dukes runners, big gaping holes they've been running through here throughout the evening. We're snapping with about 10 seconds left on the play clock. Um, chew up that play clock. Yeah, I'm 100% with you. Well, they 15 on the clock there. Yeah, they are an air raid team. Sometimes the hard habits to break and Sp goes out there and gets his job done. Buck Buchanan, top three finalists for the FCS Defensive Player of the Year. Here's a pooch punt by Brian Shore. Not bad either. How about that? Inside the two-yard line, Brian Shore. And it's killed by Damo Taylor at the two of 30s.
for the college football playoff. Looking forward to that. Long field for Sam Houston State and a long way to go to come back in this game down 49 to nothing. They'll run it there. Pickup of one or two for Bulmer. Dusty. I think it will be Deshaun Watson, though if it was mine, I'd probably go Baker Mayfield. I thought Watson, too many turnovers, 15 interceptions this year. I thought he was better a season ago when he finished third. Efficiency passing Russell Wilson's record, number one in QBR this season, and D.D. Westbrook, what a run he had. And a Blitnikoff award-winning season. Ooh, in the end zone, Briscoe spins out of a sack and throws it incomplete out of bounds. There is a penalty flag. Sure looked like it. I did not see a receiver anywhere in the area. Intentional grounding. Offense number 16. Still in the tackle box. Third to an area. There was no eligible receiver from the end zone by rule safety. That's the right call. Yep. On the free kick. Duke's ready to get it back after the safety. This is Brandon Ravidel. And it'll be at the 47-yard line of CAA.com, the official online home for all 90 NCAA championships. Trey Sharp, first down, and bumped out of bounds by Alfonso McMillan after another big game. National titles. Dynasty? Hmm. Saying at I'd least. say so. Yeah, that's unbelievably impressive. They were balanced, ran for over 200, threw for over 300. Really slowed down that Bison rushing attack. Sharp, first down, Matterson. And I think that uh, a week from now in their next round matchup. Yeah, the winner, I'm sure, is going to most likely be James Madison at this point. We'll take on either South Dakota State or North Dakota State next weekend. Shore slides ahead. Get him out soon. I think if you score on this drive, that's it. Get that quarterback out. You're up, you'll be up 58 to zero. It's time to start looking ahead and looking about thinking about being healthy for the semifinal matchup. Sharp to the five. They're if they the, don't call off the dogs, they're running the counter over and over, pulling the guard, tight end out in front, and just gashing them. Easy walk-in touchdown for Trey Sharp. His second touchdown. This one from five yards out. Sixth game over 50 points this season for James Madison. They continue to rack him up. Well, here we got a zone just over the left side. Going to combo up, combo up, zoning to the left. I mean, just wide open holes. A.J. Bolden, Kyle Rigney really blocking well, playing physical. And regardless of who the ball carrier is, if you want to get over the hump, you've got to change what you're doing, whether that's scheduling, whether that's how you're practicing, if it needs to get more physical. Something isn't translating as the games get right. later and more important. Yeah. I tend to agree with you. There's Derek Dick on that return. To run into a team that they just can't match up with. Last year it was Jacksonville State. This year it's James Madison. And again, like we talked with Casey Keeler, their practices, he said it's fun, it's fast, it's you have to maybe start to reevaluate, make a tweak here or there to get you over the top, to get you over the hump. He'll figure it out. He's, as you mentioned, He's a, a great national coach. championship yeah. coach. That's incomplete. Davis for this offseason. Play action. Briscoe into the hands of the defense. It's Curtis Oliver with the pick. Down to the six yard line. Turnover, Sam Houston State. Who, along with Moreland, Reynolds. This secondary's had a heck of a night tonight, Clay. There's Abdullah. Look at that. Willing his way toward the end zone, and he's in! Touchdown! Khalid Abdullah would not be denied. And how about that offensive line? An offensive line never giving up on that play. You really got to tip your hat to those big, big guys up front, especially him, A.J. Bolden, the transfer from Toledo. Well, how about Abdullah? Sometimes one team just wants it a little more, willing to give a little more effort. Initially, he stopped, 
He cuts, and he will not be denied. Keeps the legs churning. The offensive lineman tied in, help him into the end zone. The case here with, as you said, the upper echelon teams. They have size, but also some pretty decent, decent athleticism for the big uglies. That's what we call, that's what defense alignment call O-line. What they call you, big pretty. The champions from the Colonial Athletic for the second straight year. Got their first playoff win in five years last week over New Hampshire. And I don't think Mike Houston expected it to come this easy tonight. When we were talking with him, he gave, he gave some reasons that he was concerned about Sam Houston State, most notably the offense, but his defense has been terrific. There's a lot of reasons for concern when you watch Sam Houston State on film. Explosive offense, they go extremely fast, they put a lot of pressure on your defense, but clearly an outstanding week of preparation. And Mike Houston had his team ready to play here tonight, and clearly they've answered the bell. I love the fact he's got just a hat on, no gloves. I talked to him down on the field before the game, I said, Coach, it's freezing out here, man. Go get yourself some gloves and maybe a beanie. Have a met of it. There's Remus Bulmer with a catch. One of the few explosive plays for this offense gets it across midfield. Well, what he told me was, how can I bundle up and put layers on and preach toughness to my football players if I'm not going to be tough myself? You got to respect that. At least he's wearing gloves. Finally, finally someone said, coach, come on, man. From the 42, here's Briscoe. Oh, and that one's intercepted. Raven Green, his sixth interception of the year. He's playing man, he's playing zone, he's mixing it up, and the nightmare continues for Jeremiah Briscoe. New quarterback in the game as Cole Johnson hands off to Trace got hurt. You can see he's big, 6'5", 195. He won that game at Nova, which clinched the conference title. As Sharp picks up another first down. And then he started the Elon game. And it wasn't pretty, had a couple of interceptions, but he also made some big plays and helped lead that football team to a conference championship on the road. And you referenced, he stepped in again. To compete for the starting job with Brian Shore. He was the backup after Short won that job out of camp. As so that pass is caught close to the first down mark, it's going to be third down and short as Riley Stapleton makes the grab. But Connor Mitch, a red shirt off. Now he's getting an opportunity here in the third quarter in this playoff game, and that one is nearly intercepted. He excelled, he took the starting job, and he hasn't looked back since. There's something we haven't seen in a while, a Gunner Kane punt. He'll drop this one at the 10. Oh, he had a Lewis calls for the fair catch. Jabril Peppers, he can do a lot. He lines up all over the field and gets involved. Special teams run some Wildcat, but I thought the most outstanding defensive player in the country this year. Preseason. Well, that's going to do it for the third quarter. We'll, we'll carry that conversation over to the fourth quarter. James Madison. Leading 65 to nothing going to the fourth. I don't think anybody saw this coming. Certainly Sam Houston did. We are through three in Harrisonburg, Virginia in this FCS quarterfinal. A lot of muscle tonight for Madison.